Hello there, Mark Cunningham here, and in this video we're going to learn how to add untracked inventory items to your projects in Zero Projects. This video is actually part of a full series on Zero Projects, so if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. Okay, let's jump into Zero now and see how it's done. So it works in much the same way as services. So what we'll do is we'll add an untracked inventory item to this new patio project. So we can see in here we don't have any expenses at the moment and it's got a little bit of labor up here for different tasks but we don't actually have any goods so we don't have any cement or anything like that. So let's go up to products and services and what I'll do is I'll add some cement in there. So I'll just call that CEM20 for a 20 kilo bag of cement. Okay, like that. So this is the sort of thing that we will purchase before we sell it, but we're not going to purchase it and hold it in stock. We're just going to sell it straight away, which is why it's going to be untracked. We're not actually going to hold it as inventory. So we need to put in a unit price. So let's just say a 20 kilo bag of cement costs $10. Now the purchases account that we'll use will be cost of goods sold because we're not putting it into inventory. That's fine for a description. And then we need to put in how much we sell it for as well. So let's just put in $20 there and we'll just put it to sales as well. So we'll leave this unticked because we're not going to track the item. So that should be fine. Click on save. Okay, and here it is here. We've got a cost price and a sale price. So now if we go over to projects and we'll choose our new patio project. Okay, and we'll just put in the expense as an expense. We won't worry about an estimate. Okay, so we'll just look it up. So there's our cement bag. And you can see there, it's pulled through all of the information from the products and services section. So we've got the cost in there, the cost to us, and then we've got the custom price, which is the charge to the client. So you can actually change these details in here if there is a reason why those prices should be different. But if not, you can just go ahead and save it. And of course we're leaving track to estimate um, blank because we're not tracking it to an estimated cost. We didn't have one in there. So we'll just click on save and there it is there. So now we've got our cement bag in there for 20 kilos and we're going to sell it to the client for $20. If we go to our invoice, that will come through to our tasks and expenses invoice. So we can put that on our invoice to the client. Okay, so just like in the last lesson, the reason for doing it that way is of course, if you went and you had other projects um, that use those bags of cement, then you can just very quickly go in and pull them through from products and services instead of having to create them one by one in your projects um, as you're going along. So that's a bit of a time saver.